Hey guys, welcome back to Filmora Course Season 3. Today we are trying to recreate Superman flying effect in the Wondershare Filmora 13. So first shoot a video like this, show the open sky, then shoot another video acting like you are flying away. If possible, shoot this video in the same scene as the outdoor for the best results. Place this video above the outdoor video in the timeline. Remove the extra parts in both the videos. Now we need to remove the background from this video. For that we will use an AI tool in the Filmora 13 video editor which is called Smart Cutout. So click to start Smart Cutout. Then go to the first frame using this selection tool. Select the person in the video. AI will automatically detect the person but to make sure you can check whether the selection is perfect you can also add and delete selection using the brush and eraser add some edge thickness and edge feather as needed finally click here to start the smart cutout process so this is how it will look now we need to take a snapshot of the last frame so hide the lower layer and click here to take the picture. Next we will use keyframe animation to animate the person fly away so in this frame when I am about to jump I will add a keyframe so click here then move the playhead to the end increase the y axis value to move up so this is how it looks now. Let me speed up the clip in the middle a little. much better next we will create the second part where superman flies in the sky so add the screenshot in the timeline we will be using keyframe animation so scale down rotate change the position you can animate flying from left to right or up to down add a keyframe first then move the playhead add another keyframe by moving the person so this is how it looks now Next go to the sticker tab and search for dust. This is the sticker we will use. Add it to the timeline and move it to the right place. Now we need to place this sticker behind the superhero layer. So let's do it and there you go. Next we will use an effect called extreme. This will add a shake effect to the video. Next we will add sound effects. So in the audio tab there is an option for sound effect. We will use whoosh sound. We will use this one. So drag and drop to the timeline and place it in the right place. This is the sound effect we will be using for the flying scene. In the final video I changed the flying from up to down and also gave it a perspective by making it smaller. Let's also add the extreme effect here. So guys this is the final result. I hope that this video was interesting. If you want to see more like this, check the description for the full playlist. That's all for today guys. Thank you so much for watching this video.